If you write, if you compose a song, uh, a smash hit like uh, Four Minutes, for example, mm -hmm. how do you work? Uh, in my fantasy, you were sitting in your living room or in your kitchen together with Timberland or Justin Timberlake and composing, but what's the reality? What is your way to compose? The reality is that uh, we were in a, in a recording studio, um, but it was a very casual and relaxed environment. By the time we were writing Four Minutes, we'd already written other songs. We'd gotten to know each other. and. Um, Basically how it works is Timberland comes up with the beats and he works often with headphones on like a mad professor in a, in, a, in a laboratory and then when he comes up with something he loves he plays it really loud in the room and we start listening to it and vibing off of it and we put it on a loop and it plays over and over and over again and then t uh, Justin and I basically sit in a little corner and I have my, I'm like a the secretary taking notes, yes, because he doesn't like to write anything down. And we just start riffing off of it and coming up with lyrics together and saying, yeah, that's a good idea, no, that's not, and I write everything down. And we, we, we repeat it over and over and over again until it sounds like it's natural and like poetry, live. And that's how we, how we wrote together. Mm -hmm. And then when Timberland thought it was good, he would either give the thumbs up or the thumbs down and that's how we wrote the song. And uh, when you're working alone, not with Timbaland or Timbaland or Pharrell Williams, uh, yeah. where do you write then? I usually play my guitar and I'm just by myself and I'm playing and I, I'm singing words that come to my head and then I stop and I write things down and I just keep working on it until I come up with a whole song. Okay. But I usually write on guitar when I'm by myself. Um, your new, new album, Hard Candy, why is it called Hard Candy? What does it mean? Um, well, it, you know, it has a lot, it's an, it, you know, it's an ironic title. It has a lot of innuendos. It's, you know, candy is something most people like. It's sweet, but it's not, it's bad for your teeth. So it's good and it's bad. It's a paradox. It's, you know, there's um, a kind of candy is, you know, there's a sexual uh, connotation to it. Um, it's enticing. It needs to be unwrapped. Um, it's sweet, but then the, the word hard is in it. So hard candy usually b breaks your teeth, right? It's not good for your teeth. You crunch on it, right? So it's your 11th uh, studio album now. Is that is, it? Is, yeah. Is it still oh, the, the same as with your earlier records? Is it the same thrill, the same pressure for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, you know, there's a lot of competition out there, a lot of great music that people are making. Um, and the record business isn't what it used to be, so, you know, to get people to buy your record and, and to, to stand out is, is a challenge. So, yeah, it's, it's always, for me, it's always the same. So, what, what is the challenge when you say, well, let's make a new album, what's the most important thing for you? Well, to make great music, to make a song that's memorable, that you hear one time and you want to hear again, that sticks in your head, um, that makes you want to get up and dance. Um, all those things. Mm. Uh, through all the years, uh, you and your music is changing and evolving all the time. Every new Madonna artwork is a surprise. So now on Hard Candy, it's another surprise. We hear uh, Pharrell Williams and Timbaland's R&B and hip hop. Why is it hip hop now? Um, well, I've made, I've worked with other hip hop producers. For instance, when I did Bedtime Stories, that was all hip hop. I worked with Dallas Austin, Dave Gates, um, and. So it's not the first time I ventured into that genre of music, but I have been a, I have been a big fan of Pharrell Williams for years. I've always loved his music and the collaborations he's done with people. And uh, at the time, that before I made my record, I was listening to Justin Timberlake's record that he had done with Timberland religiously. I mean, I really loved every song on the record, so I just decided I wanted to work with them. So. Okay, is, uh, is hip-hop part of your life? It's not, it's not really hip hop, it's not straight ahead pure hip hop, I think if, it's not really, I don't think you can really pigeonhole it, it's not straight ahead R&B, it's not straight pop, it's not straight hip hop, it's hopefully, it's sort of a new genre. And I haven't come up with a title for it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so in the, in the four minutes video, you are singing and dancing with Justin Timberlake, it looks as if you two were a young couple, although uh, Justin could be your son, so how is it? He could. Uh, you could. 
I mean, very dare you. Oh, I mean, I don't know how old he is. He's maybe third. <laughs> I've never met his father. Um, <laughs> well, I guess if you did the math, he could be. But yeah, uh, you know, I still think we make a great songwriting dancing couple. You are. <laughs> So you are uh, more than 25 years in the business now. Uh, no pop star has been so successful for such a long time. What are you proud of? You mean in regards to my music career? I think really that I, that I still enjoy it. That I still love what I do and that I get to work with so many great people. And every time I make a record, I'm just as excited about it as I was the last one. So I think to keep that energy going and that love for what you do uh, alive and not be bored or not be jaded or um, I, I, I'm proud of that. Lots of pop stars who are in the business for a long time their voices change through the years for example maybe Bob Dylan his voice uh, always changes but your voice still sounds very young and clear how do you keep your voice fit? Well I think Bob Dylan smoked a lot of cigarettes and that has an effect on your vocal cords for sure. Um, but I don't know, I, I think a lot of it has to do with taking care of your body, period, being in good health, yeah. So no doubt you are the most important pop star nowadays, but who is for you the most important pop star? Who do you admire? Me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I admire, well, um, I admire. Well, I have, I have, you know, I have singer-songwriters that I'm, I'm big fans of. I'm a big fan of Chris Martin. I'm a big fan of Justin Timberlake. I admire the fact that, you know, I think he's, a, uh, I think he's got a good head on his shoulders. Um, who else do I admire? I admire Prince. Um, am I lis missing somebody that I admire? Music-wise, I admire Eminem. Yeah, I That's do. Yeah, but I admire him. And how do you feel about your 50th birthday? Um, well, it hasn't happened yet, so I'll let In you August. know. How do I feel looking forward to it? Um, I hope that I have a really fun party and I'm surrounded by my friends. That's yep. all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like all my birthdays. I'm very happy that you will come to Germany for three concerts uh, during the tour. Why is it the tour called Sticky and Sweet? Because that's what happens when you put candy in your mouth. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> How do you say you're welcome in German? Bitteschön. Bitteschön, Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Bitteschön. Thank you and bitteschön is okay. welcome. Okay. Danke. Bitteschön. Yeah. <laughs>